All right, new project, and this is a knockoff Nightcore, which I have, you know, around my keys. And this thing really gets bright. There's low. Right now I'm having a problem with it. Low, you see that strobe, then I put it on high, and I've taken it apart, and I've tested everything that I can think of, and I did at one point have to resolder because the contact came loose from the B positive up here and one of the solder heads over here to the LED. But when I put it in high, obviously, you know, it's doing that. I bypassed the battery and tested the LED and it still strobes. I've got some of these little three wide. One side here is marked with positive and the other side over here is marked with negative. So your polarity is easily visible. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take this off, this LED, and replace it with this one here. The thing is, I'm going to have to make an external connection, which what I'm thinking, placing it outside the case on here, something like that. Jesus, let's go ahead and remove that. Crap. Come on. cooking the LED, I know that. There we go. Wow, that's hot. Positives disconnected, so let's go ahead and clean up as best I can. And we're going to have to cut that pretty short. And point being is, the reason I'm using silicone is, is that it's easily strippable. Cool, huh? Oh, that's the black side. I'm sorry. My mistake. Good solid connection. I've discovered how important it is to keep that flaw cleaned off. Number one, it's acidic, and over time, if left on there, will be damaging to the circuit board and the circuit. So, a little extra time to clean that off is advisable. And then, always keep your your powder dry, keep your uh, sponge clean. I've used this quite a bit, and it's just about ready to change to a new one. And sometimes if it's a big enough circuit, then a good old toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol and then soak it up and then clean it and blah blah blah. It's kind of the idea. That way it's it kind of holds it on there. And then I can cut off whatever is unnecessary, which there will be quite a lot. This little guy here, carefully. And just kind of wiggle it off. And I've got a little teat here that I can connect. Before I do that, take a little precaution. Oops. And what this will do will keep me from accidentally hitting it with the uh, positive wire, right? A little tricky, but I think it'll be fine. I got just a tool. I can do this. Looks alright. 
and I need to get rid of that little teat. Right there. And I think I have a pretty good connection. And now we're going to play with the light and see if that worked. That is negative. This is a test, so let's not worry about proper positioning. Alright. Alright. That's Typical. There we go. Look at that. Low. High. I like it. Now to uh, transform it to here. And believe it or not, that's going to be the easy part. Alright, I'm going to attempt it this way. I'm going to go ahead and put it together I've already worked on this once before so this will be the last time I work on it. I just buy another one for a few books alright I got it all back together I've measured and cut my wires. All right, I got this figured out. Kinda. I think that will work out just fine. Now, for some miracle tape, Captain. That looks pretty accurate. Now, whether to fill it with JB Weld or hot glue. Well, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to go JB Weld. Easy like Sunday morning. All right, we'll let that set. I'll come back to it and I'll pull my tape off the back and work in another little batch. And don't mix so much. All right, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. Let's see what I came up with here. Nice. That's easy. Easy like Sunday morning. So what I need to do is 
Leave that set. And I'll be back to check on it. Well, it's all set up. Turned out as good as good can be. I'm charging right now. Low. High. And that high is high. We'll let that charge. Oh, look at this. I just got this from China for about a dollar. Isn't that special? Looks like a key. Hmm. So I'll let that charge up. And, uh, so there.